Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. You know, a question I get from time to time is that, is all scripture equally inspired? And here's some of the things people mean by that. They're like, you know, when I'm reading First Chronicles and this one begat that one and that one begat that one, is that equally inspired to like Acts 2, 38, John 3, 16, Matthew 28, 19, John 3, 5, you know, 1 Peter 1, 16, be holy. Is I'm holy, says the Lord. You know, so they're like, are the begats as inspired? Or when I'm reading about Ezekiel's temple being built in Ezekiel chapters 40 through 48, or the tabernacle being built or the sacrifices of Leviticus is this of the same inspiration level as um, you know Genesis 1 through 11 or Abraham or David or Jesus or the epistles of Paul or the book of Revelation well the answer to that yes whenever you use the term verbal plenary inspiration and that's kind of been the basic terminology that people have used for the inspiration of the Bible, that it's breathed out by God, is verbal plenary. What is meant by that is verbal is the words are inspired. The inspiration is not just the process, but the words themselves are inspired. And plenary means every word and letter. Now, Jesus believed in this. He said every jot, every tittle. So he's talking parts of letters are actually inspired. And Paul, when he says, God said unto seed as of one, not seeds as of many, he's saying that particular letter that uh, S, you know, in English as it is, is inspired. And so, yes, it would all be equally inspired. Now, it may not all be equally applicable to your particular situation. It's all equally applicable. Applicable to each and every one of us, of course. But, uh, you know, when you need to be saved, you may not get that out of the begats. You may not. Um, if you need to uh, know a particular thing about uh, Christian living, well, you may not see that in the tenons in the tabernacle or something along those lines or in Ezekiel's. Uh, uh, temple or in a pronouncement of judgment on Nineveh. You may not see that there. So, but it's all equally inspired. It just may not be all equally applicable to you at that particular time. But all scripture is equally applicable to us as well. And I find it fascinating when Satan came to Jesus, Jesus starts pulling out the sword of the Spirit from Deuteronomy. And he quotes three passages of scripture that people might not always say, well, that has to do with fighting the devil, but it did. And so scripture memory is something that is commanded out of the Bible to hide these words in your heart. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee um, in the Old Testament. And then the, the Holy Ghost, the words, the writer of the Bible, the author comes to live on the inside of us. But yes, the fact of the matter is that all scripture is equally inspired and so textual critical methods that come against that whether it's higher or lower criticism would be in grave danger of violating scripture and the very integrity of God that when it says that we stand before the judgment seat in Revelation you know 20 and 21 and the books are opened just talking about the books of the Bible John 12 he said you, Jesus said you're gonna be judged by my word and so when we say well the word was unsettled we didn't know this part of the Bible that part of the Bible on and on and so forth you know real danger there real danger area by relegating certain parts of the Bible as uninspired not for us on and on and so forth and many things were fulfilled in Jesus Christ, but they're still for us because we see what happened leading up to Jesus Christ and how sins were rolled ahead till that perfect sacrifice. So uh, don't ever let anybody tell you every single word in the Bible. I can't remember how many there are. There's like 788,000 plus, I'm sure, words in the Bible. They used to say 773, but that's been shown that was incorrect counting. 
by that 788, 789,000 words in Scripture. I've done a video on statistics in the Bible. It's in there somewhere. So God bless. I'll talk with you later in Jesus' name. Fall in love with that book.